Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Modicon M221. I'm your host Leandro Mala and in this video we're gonna work with one of the movements that we have in the software. So let's go to the presentation. In the previous video we have seen how to work with the home, with the different homes method that we have. Now once we have the home it's time to work with the different movements that we have in the motion blocks that we have for the PTO. So if we continue with the presentation, okay, again, this diagram, okay, which is how we can move between the different states that we have for the PTO function block. So if we change this to a full view, now the idea is to work with the continuous motion, okay. If we go to continuous motion, the only function block available for continuous motion is the move velocity. So once we assign the activation move velocity, the axis will just move to the velocity that we want. So the only two axes to this, in our case, will be like this. Stand still. Okay, and in order to stop it, which is going to use the MCS stop. So in our case, that would be our feature or our diagram state for this case or what I'm planning to do with you now. So the power will be over here. Okay, and then we're gonna be stop and stand still. Then I will execute the move velocity and then it's just go to a stop and then stand still again. Okay, so that's the idea. And in order to follow all these the states that we have, this one, this one, this one, and this one, we just go over here and read the axis state. So this is good to have it in your uh, HMI in case you want it. So how to use this or how to enable the use? Just need to go to the configuration, select from the function blocks, the PTO, and then select the one for the motion. Okay, we need to add the power and then the move velocity. Once we have the move velocity, these are all the configuration available, okay, that we have. And this one is the axis that we have configured on the configuration tab. Um, ba -ba -ba. The configuration tab, and this one is visible in the program tab. So, here in order to execute the movement okay we just need to activate we can put a contact over here to activate and this one is also important if this one is zero okay we need to execute again the move velocity in order to change the velocity if we assign the value through a contact or number one okay number one then every time that we change the velocity Okay, it will change the velocity of the target, of the axis. So that's something that we keep in mind now. Now, we have the possibility to pre-configure all these values, okay, using this and having it into the instance, as I'm going to show you mm -hmm, here. So base, once you have configured configuration part, we just need to go to programming and assign a line here, uh, move velocity we can configure over here the values the values that you want okay 500 uh, 500 100 kilohertz here why it's just an idea what you can do where you want based on the application that you have or you can double click over here and then you can see all the different move velocity instance that you can have in your application so if we continue with the slides, okay. So you can use the pre-configure for that, but another solution would be to use the name of the instance dot the name of these variables that we have over here to access to this information remotely. For example, in this case, if I want to change the velocity using an HMI, you just need to use the percentage MD and then assign the value to the velocity. 
I have already created different uh, videos how you can communicate with the HMI. So you just need to, if you're using BTO Designer or Operator Terminal Expert, you just need to import the project and see all the variables. And then you just use your uh, imagination to create the HMI. Okay, so let's continue with this. So one of the things that we need to be careful here is the direction. Okay, you need to assign forward or reverse based on this value. And the other thing is the jerk and the buffer mode. The buffer mode is very important because depend on the buffer mode, it will affect the previous movement that you have. So by default, it's zero. So it will stop the previous movement and um, begin the other one. Okay. And this one, the buffer depend on the previous movement it will start after the other one is finished okay you can see that you have the dant or in velocity okay for example in here if i execute another one it will if i have two more velocity it won't start until this one is in velocity okay we don't have done because we just assign it goes to the velocity and then just go to that velocity then we had blend then trigger and see buffer this one we're going to see it later regarding to the touch proof that we have so we're going to cover that later the other important thing is the jerk and if we and that would be much better if i show you the pictures over here uh, da, da, da. if we go to the help da, 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 da this one jerk ratio the value goes to zero to 100 and this is the jerk would be is the deri derivative of the acceleration so it will be linked to the values that you have for the acceleration this acceleration so here you can see how it affects okay just zoom in here you can see how it affects having a jerk ratio for zero jerk ratio 66 okay and the 100 let me just 100 you can see how it affects the curve of the velocity that we have okay it's just more smooth in the transition to one velocity to the other one so that is something that you need to be careful in your application okay so if we continue with this okay now it's time to work with the application so Da, 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 da. Now, this application is already connected to the controller i have assigned the power okay i have the power so now it's enabled to make any movement that i want so in my case i have i haven't finished this i'm going to show you later but um the only thing that we need to configure in this case if we want to one direction the other one and the velocity so in the velocity you will need to assign um, the frequency of the pulses and um, that will be linked to this configuration that you already have okay remember that you have the 100 uh, 100 kilohertz for the max velocity so you need to be careful in that so you can assign the value but in my case i already created some formula so if you go over here move velocity i'm going to assign for example uh, should be this variable 100, um, 100 rpm you can see here the frequency of the pulses calculation is 54 kilohertz approximately so if we start the mode velocity now just change the view so you can see here this so it will start moving faster and i'm going to uncheck this part so it will need to execute again to change the velocity so there we go it's moving okay it's doing something now i haven't changed this the continuous update so if i change the velocity now move velocity here i'm going to change to 100 rpm 
you can see that the velocity is still going faster okay uh, so what I need to do is to execute again so now if I I show in order to count this if I'm not wrong we should enable this first and then execute so now if I want to change the velocity once again for example uh, to RPM there we go so if I move to 500 RPM you can barely see it and it's moving over there About 1 RPM it's going to take 1 minute to make the turn then RPM so once we have executed the movement okay you can see it's in velocity and then the peak is VC because it's executing the block. If we want to stop this, we should be able to go to the MC stop. Okay, if we go back over here, oops, over here, let me just delete everything. So right now we are in this position. So in order to go over here, we just need to go to the stop. And if you want to stop, it's using the MC underscore stop video. So, video here, MC stop, and it should stop. I'm going to try to stop it in the zero that I want. Oops, a little bit late. There we go. Okay, so this is how you can use the MC uh, velocity. Okay, remember to have the power and the stop in order to stop the moment. Otherwise, you're going to be moving until you disconnect everything. And it's not ideal. So thank you very much for watching this video. And I see you on the next one.